Hey, hey, my name is Valentino and welcome to my channel. Okay, so first of all, yeah, I'm a low key in a rush because the sun is setting, it's getting late. I mean, it's not even like 4.30 yet and it's already getting so dark, but um, I have this light here. So yeah, we're gonna try to make it work. I don't want this video to be, ooh, I need to put my fries in. I don't want this video to be too long, but I just wanna just get something off my chest. Okay, so I have a confession to make. When I was about seven years old, I started to, I mean, look at men and I was just like, you know what? What if, what if I forced myself to get an erection and I just, I just tried. Every time I was at the pool and there were like hot daddies around, I would just be like, oh, stare at them. Let me just try and try and get an erection. And then all of a sudden one day, I got an erection and then I just, ever since then, I forced myself to get turned on by men. Let that sink in. How fucking stupid does that sound? And everybody says, don't respond to hate comments. I honestly, I really try to only respond to positive comments. A lot of the times when I get a negative comment, I literally, I wanna respond, I type my response, and then I just sit there and wait for a second and then just delete it. Cause you know, it's not even worth it. But this comment really kind of affected me because it personally affected me. Somebody was just like, there were multiple comments saying, oh, your mother made you gay because she was overbearing or something. Or it was like, oh, you trained your mind to be gay. Okay, so my brother is three years older than me, right? So we also have a cousin that lived in the same area as us that is the same exact age as my brother. So they were in the same grade for the longest, you know, they were close, they were in the same grade, they saw each other all the time. And then he also had older sisters. So one of his older sisters, my brother, and then I, and then um, a couple other people, because we were all coworkers, we would all hang out, right? During the summers, whenever he was there, cause you know, uh, he's three years older than me. So he went to college by the time I was a freshman in high school. So like whenever he was there, we would all hang out and chill and everything. By the time I came out, the last week of my junior year is kind of like when I realized, oh shit, I'm definitely gay. There's no change in what I'm feeling. This is what it is. I came out to my best friend and then I came out to my family. I have a come on out story. I'll link that. I came out to them and my brother kind of right after that. I'm sure my brother talked to our cousin the one that in the same grade about it because they were close and I'm his brother so he kind of felt some type of way about it especially back then and I guess my cousin told his older sister they would literally come to our house when my brother was in town and pick up my brother and leave whereas you know a few weeks prior before they knew I would be invited like that was just standard, like we would all just hang out. I asked my brother, I'm like, oh, so you guys are hanging out? Like, what, y'all don't want me to come or whatever? And then he's like, yeah, she she just, you know, told me not to tell you, <laughs> basically. So I literally confronted her and I was like, so, I mean, I hear like you kind of have a problem. And she was like, well, there's no problem. I just, you know, my beliefs, my religious beliefs and, with you choosing this lifestyle, I don't think we can, you know, hang out anymore and I don't want you to be a part of my life with you choosing this lifestyle. And I'm like, well, I mean, girl, like, I'm still the same person though. Like, the only thing is, I mean, I just don't, I've never been, you know, turned on to women. Like, I've only been turned on by men. Like back when I started masturbating at seven years old, it was to men. <laughs> and she was like, well, you obviously trained your mind as a child to be attracted to men. And I mean, there's no other explanation. That's what you did. And I, I just can't support anybody who's choosing that lifestyle and living their lives like that. Yada, yada, yada. And literally ever since that conversation, um, 
I've had one conversation with her. <laughs> it's been like <laughs> a decade. I've had like, well, maybe not that long, but it's been hella long. And I've had one conversation with her and I was like three words via Skype because I was Skyping with my family for Christmas or something. And she was kind of like on her way out. She kind of just stepped in and then stepped out and I was on the Skype. So then her mom was there. So she wanted to say hi to me and she was standing right next to her mom. So her fake ass was just like, oh, hi, how you doing? The whole point of this video is to say I just don't understand how people are so fascinated with the gay agenda. Everybody's saying, oh, gay people are pushing this gay agenda. We're forcing it down, you know, straight people's throats and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, how is that even possible? Like, even in mainstream media, it's not even there. And then they're saying, oh, they're pushing it on our kids. I grew up <laughs> watching everything else that everybody else grew up watching with only heterosexual relationships and I'm still gay. That doesn't do anything. It doesn't change anything. It just doesn't make any sense. And then these fucking Bible thumpers. A few moments later. <sighs> Anyways, um, my whole point is if there's anybody young watching this, just know, if anybody is telling you that you trained your mind to be gay, tell them to shove a stick up their ass and shut the fuck up because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. <sighs> I'm done ranting. My lights is going. Comment down below what you guys think. I tried again to try not to get the chest. I'm like, I have no pump. Like, my nipples aren't in the frame. I mean, I got out the shower, so I'm not gonna put on clothes for nothing. Comment down below what you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell next to it to so make sure you're notified every time I post. Until next time. And comment down below if you're loving this big hair. Like, I actually picked my hair out today. Like, you know, you know, picked out the roots to give me that volume. Yes. Oh, you wanna spin? You wanna spin? Yes. <laughs> Let me try to fix it. You ready? You wanna spin? Ha, ha, ha.